Hi and welcome to a tips video for the Forgotten Saga on your weapons using um, your favour to get legendary weapons or just in general selecting the weapon option reward during your Forgotten Saga run. This is the first realm and um, this is sort of like an introduction video to the tip video. Uh, if you've selected to get legendary weapons in your chest which you've spent 30 for 15 thoughts on at the merchant shop at Odin's camp you might hold off on picking a legendary weapon because well I'm not going to take any of these anyway so that's kind of a good thing they all start out at level 1 so let's click that the game by default gives you weapons at level 2 so like I said you might hold off on it because in the further you progress in realms let me just get out of here. The further you progress in realms, because there's four realms, the last realm's called Helheim. Um, the higher the... The higher the upgrade level will be on your weapon. In the last final realm, it's all RNG based anyway, whether you get, like, like weapon and stuff. RNG wise, uh, that aside, will all always be like level five. So, but like I said, it's the same for all your starting gear that you get. And I think the game tailors to whatever suit you pick. So you, I picked that, and it's given me these because it's tailored to my um, choice. So, like I said, this is like the first realm, and your weapons will be low. So. You, so you might want to hold off on ch choosing them. Um, in Realm 2, your weapons, I think, depending on how close you are to the boss himself, because I'm right around the corner from the boss now, will determine how high your weapons are, like your progression through the realm. Because, if, as you can see, the boar is level 2, the flail is level 2, and the, well no, well what I've just said doesn't quite matter, but I, I've got two different videos on realm 2, where these are level, these are level um, 2, I how many upgrade slots they've got, and in another video, which I was in Realm 2 as well, um, they are upgraded to level 3, so I guess it's RNG based on what level you will get, but I'll include both clips in the same video. In Realm 2, the weapons are a bit higher. As you can see here, Monia is level 3. All the weapons are level 3. I upgraded to level 3. So I'll replace it with Leviathan. The realm 3, where you face Needog at the end. So I've now got the ability to choose a weapon. As you'll see. And now in this realm, they're upgraded to level 4. As opposed to in le re uh, realm 2, where they were level upgraded to level 3. I say level because of the notches. But I'm going to take the money. So in realm 3, they upgraded to level 4. And in realm 5, not realm 5, in realm, realm 3, they upgraded to level 4. And in realm 4, the final realm, they're upgraded to level 5 but 
you'll see that in the video anyway. So you might want to hold off on using your weapons and chiming in on the... Not that one. Not that one. That one. Some weapon chests will open will only contain legendary weapons, so you might want to hold off on that instead of picking your weapons early like I did where you've got to upgrade them. It's like cheaper in the, in the longer run of things. So this is a, this will be part. So that's like um, so that's another useful tip. Hi, in Helheim. You'll see I'm in Helheim in a moment. I thought in Helheim, your weapons, no matter what, when you get the choice of weapon, it's level five every time, no matter what fully upgraded that's not the case I don't know if it's because it's a legendary weapons are capped I don't know but if you see these are all level 4 which kind of defeated the purpose of like, me being like you might want to hold off but maybe in another little video connected to this you'll see they are level 5 but we'll take the coins because I don't need the weapons and um, I've just consumed that once. Wait one minute. No, I didn't. No. If I'd have picked a weapon, I'd have consumed that at uh, once. Um, so I don't need it anyway because my, my weapons of choice. I thought I'd try that because of it creating a fire ring around me, which is pretty good. And then that sets weapons on fire. So on this run, I've chosen them. So I don't really need it, but I was like a bit bemused why they were level 4, but I guess it's RNG based. I don't know. Hi, I'm in Helheim again, and um, I'll be heading that way to go up to there to use the portal, but I've still got one use on Famed Fortune legendary weapons so in this reward that I've just got by defeating the room the weapons are level 5 as you can see so in realm 4 Helheim weapons can be level 4 I mean level 5 as you can see so that's so as you can see that if you wait and you hold off if you have certain weapons you want you can get them at high end at the end and then when you go and then when you go back to audience camping you use your trader you can then recover that weapon but it'll reset itself back to like low level that's all alternatively this will be a short video if you choose to take the portal to the right when you're in Helheim, you have a trader here. If you do not come, I would be on. His weapon is max upgraded now, and it's it's a divine great sword. So it's not as good as legendary, but as you can see, it's level five and it's two-handed. I'm not going to buy it myself because I don't need it. But that could be an option for you. You might have different weapons that you might be able to work with what you're working on on your run. So again, this is an alternative option. Hi, another little tip video, which will be included in the video for maybe holding off on selecting your weapons, is um, this little trick. Supposing your weapons have just changed from what you just had. You pull up your inventory and you're like, why have the weapons changed positions? I have Monia there. And the other thing there. On the PlayStation controller, it's R2. But on the Xbox, it might be the right trigger that you press. You press R2 and R3, which I think would be r T and R3 on Xbox to switch your weapons like that.
It's something the game doesn't tell you and you can just go for a quick break and then come back and your weapons have switched and when you attack you're thinking why have my weapons changed position? So I thought I'd record this very short little clip as well which will hopefully go together in a compilation clip. Hi, in um, the video before this one I talked about switching the weapons in your hand Obviously, if you choose to use two and a two-handed weapon, you only carry one weapon, so switching your weapons like so won't apply. But again, it's R3 and R2, or R3 and RT on Xbox and PlayStation, respectively. So I just thought I'd obviously say that's kind of stating the obvious, that if you only have a two-handed weapon and that's your choice of weapon, then it wouldn't really apply to you. So, again, I just thought I'd do another little recording here. Any tip that I don't know if the game tells you, but if you don't complete the side that you've selected, it doesn't show you what's coming up next. So here, there's two pivot points where I can go. So... Now it truly is RNG because I don't need wisdom because I've got that much 21,662 and now I need 550 because I've maxed out my skill tree. So I will now see what's across here because I don't need the memories and I've got and I've got ability upgrade but obviously depending on your run will determine what you get.